Hello, I'm Marlene Spies. Voters have been out casting their vote all day in the heartland. How's the turnout been at the polling locations in our area? KTVO's Ashley Hoke is live at one of those locations and joins us now with that answer. Ashley? Thanks, Marlene. I'm here at the Church of the Nazarene, which is just one of the many polling locations in the area. Now, if you haven't had a chance to head out to the polls yet today, you still have about two hours to do so. I'm joined by poll worker Rita Williams. Thank you for joining me tonight. Now, if people haven't had the chance to come out to the polls to vote yet, just what do they need to bring with them? They need to bring their voter ID card or their driver's license. And I also understand that the ballot for this election is two-sided this time. What can those, those voters expect to see? They will be voting on various uh, offices that are, has candidates running, and also there are four amendments. And I'm sure that the polls have been very busy all day, but have there been any major problems that those voters have experienced when coming out to vote? We have expressed uh, no major problems. There's been just a very few that have address change or polling changes, but very few. Everyone's been very pleasant and eager to vote. And just finally, um, I know it's been pretty busy at this location. Just how many people have come out so far today to cast their vote? At this present time, we've had 557. And you expect to see more within the next two hours? Oh, yes, we do. We will definitely be probably 650. And like I said before, if you have not had the chance to come out to vote yet, the polls close in Missouri in just under two hours, so that will be 7 p.m. And in Iowa, those polls close at 9 p.m. And with that, I will send it back to you in the studio, Marlene.